Okay, Brenda, we made it. I cannot tell you how many times I have recorded this workout with either something going wrong in the middle of the workout or the tech not working. Ooh, I've done this bad boy a lot, but hence why I'm kind of hinging or <laughs> crouching right now is because the tech just hates me this week. So I'm using my laptop, which doesn't actually capture a whole lot of screen. So my head's gonna be a little cut off and my legs are gonna be a little cut off, but we'll do it, we'll get it done. Um, I've had to restructure it so that um, you don't necessarily need to hit the floor, which no push-ups might like to hear that, <laughs> but we're still going to target a lot of the, uh, we're tar going to target the full body here. So, um, let's just kind of jump right in. I want to explain pose or pose yoga teacher here. I want to explain the, um, the workout move, move number one <laughs> before I press play. Um, so for this one, you're going to, or before I start the actual hit training. So this, sorry, because I've said it so many times, I assume that you already know it, but <laughs> this is going to be the same type as last time. So you're going to be doing six different moves and we'll do three rounds of that. It's 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. And let me show you the first move. So you are going to be using a pretty light, moderate weight. Don't go too, too heavy on this guy. Um, but what you're going to be doing is there's three different kind of moves within this one move. So standing up nice and straight, pelvis forward, nice tall spine. We're going to be leaning over and you're going to do a row. So notice how my tricep is parallel to the floor. From here, tricep extension. You're going to come all the way back. And as you come up, straighten. And then your last one, you're going to do chin, pull up, whatever you want to call it. So putting all that together, lean over, hinge that extension, come all the way up to the chin. One more time, come into your row. So lean, row, extend all the way up right to the chin. Okay, so we're going to get started because again, I've done this way too many times, but um, you can always pause. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything, but I will try and explain to the best of my ability, but you got this. Okay, six moves, 20 seconds rest. I'm going to start it right now because we're starting with that 20 seconds of rest. Then we're going to go into the 40 seconds of work, and then within the next 20 seconds of rest, I'll explain the next move. Okay, so grab your weights. Nice and tall, five seconds. Remember, we're hinging and rowing. Two, one, go. Hinge forward, find that row. Extension, come up, chin. Again, hinge forward, row. Extension, <laughs> come all the way up. In previous videos, forward, row, I kept wanting to, um, how do I even explain this? All the way to the chin, hinge forward. I kept coming right here and coming all the way back down. We're hinging, so no problem if you do that. Come up, straighten. I feel like it's, oh, three, two. Let's get one more in. Come all the way up, right to the chin. Perfect. First move done, round one. Okay, the second one we're gonna be doing a bot. Bicep and then alternate curl. So grab your weight, five seconds, light weight. This Bicep curl, regular, all the way down, and then open the arms. So you're this way, bicep curl. Bring the weights back together, bicep curl. Alternate out, bicep curl. So see how this one you don't want too heavy of a weight. You're coming in. We're avoiding that kind of big swing of the elbow. So you don't wanna be coming up here. You wanna be keeping the biceps nice and tight to the side body. Three, two, one, rest. Cool, so put your weights down. 
grab a drink of water if you need one. Our third move is going to be a squat and a hinge. So this one you do want a little heavier of a weight. So you can either put your tens together, you can use one ten if that's a lot. I would recommend 15 to 20. Wide legs, we're gonna just come into a wide squat. Come forward, all the way up, and then we're just gonna hinge. Forward, pelvis comes back up, engage the glutes. So you're coming all the way down, Try to avoid coming forward this way, chest is forward, and then hinge, flat back, all the way up. I think we might have done this actually in the last video that we had. Pelvis forward, engage with glutes. Coming all the way down, knees are out, chest is forward, and one more. Pelvis forward, engage with the glutes, perfect. So, our next move, we're halfway, over halfway, is just gonna be a wall squat. So all you wanna do is find a wall. Three, two, one, sink, nice and low. So, you wanna make sure that your knees or your thighs are about parallel to the ground. Oh, and the puppy wants in because, you know, keep holding the squat. <laughs> <laughs> so there's probably going to be some puppy interruptions, but that's okay. You have eight more seconds. Maybe if you want to go a little more, you can lift a leg up. Maybe try it out. Okay. Come all the way back up. We have two more poses, moves, <laughs> until we're done round one. So we're gonna be doing a toe tap with a toe touch. No weights here. You're tapping, come out, put your leg back, touch your foot on the ground. Tap, same leg. If you wanna work on balance, lift that leg up, touch, Ooh, maybe I don't wanna work on balance because there's puppy under me, touch. I'll let you know when we're halfway and then we're going to switch toes. So you can either touch the floor as you come up, touch the floor and come down. Try and avoid this foot touching the ground. So let's switch legs. Tap. You can touch the floor and then hit that foot or tap. Keep the knee up. Tap. Maybe tap down. Tap. Tap. Okay. Last move, we're going to do a lunge curl. Grab a light weight here. So what we're going to do is we're going to step back, make sure you're in a nice lunge, and then hammer curl. Step forward. Okay, ready? One, go. And we're going to alternate legs here. So take your time, get into your lunge, curl. Step forward. Back. Once you do a nice lunge, I feel like within this pose, a lot of people try to really rush, take, a, take as, kind of go as fast as possible, but we really want to make sure that we're in a nice lunge to avoid any kind of knee damage or impact damage. So take your time, step back, lunge, you're still going to feel this, no matter how fast or slow you go, two, one. Oh, one more. Perfect. Okay. That's round. That's round one. So, yes, puppy. So we're going to grab those um, weights again, and we're going to do the kind of three move move. So hinge, curl, back, curl. Woo. Okay. We're hinging. We're curling. We're extending. Standing up. Last one. Hinge. <laughs> and up. Tip. Row. Extend. Come all the way up. Whoosh. Try to keep the shoulders down. Hinge. Row. Extend. Nine seconds. Come all the way up. Let's do one more. Hinge. Row. Extend. Come all the way up. Perfect. 
Okay, next move is gonna be that bicep alternating curl. So you can let the weights go. And remember this one, when you pick them back up, eight seconds is gonna be up here, out, up here. Two, one, go. Biceps here, come on out, bicep here, come on in. Bicep here, avoid that moving of the bicep, remember? So, no shaking, no <laughs> coming all the way, wiggling. You wanna keep that bicep nice and stable, especially as you open up. Come on in, 13 seconds, you got this. Come on out, and then exhale as you lift up. Two, one, one more, perfect. Let go of your weight, bend the knees as you do so, and the next one is going to be that squat hinge. So remember, you wanna have your weight, you can use one or you can use two. Wide legs, toes slightly out to the side, two, one, come into that squat. So remember, chest is up. We're not tipping over, you wanna keep pelvis forward, and then hinge. Pelvis forward, engage the glutes. I like to turn my toes out when I squat. And then because of yoga, I turn my toes forward when I hinge. Toes out. So the tailbone is going directly to the floor. Hinge forward. So notice, rather than sticking the booty out and coming into the squat this way, tailbone is right to the floor. One last one. Perfect. Ooh, okay, so our next one is that wall squat. Oh, I forgot to turn my laptop. Okay, so up against the wall, six seconds. When you're ready, you're gonna come all the way down, making sure not to feel any pain in the knees here. So if coming all the way down to a 90 degree, you feel like there's any kind of knee pain, you can come up a little bit. You want the feet, ooh, there's some weights in my way. You want the feet to be hip distance here. And you want to avoid what I'm doing now, putting the hands in the thighs. Keep the hands by the side body. Focus on the back, connecting to the wall. If you want, bring the feet together. Lift the knee up, weights, and then come on up. Perfect, so we have two more poses, moves, in this second round, and then we're on our last round. So we have the toe tap. So remember, out, tap your opposite foot. Ready? Tap, kick it back, tap. Forward, tap, back, tap. And as I said, you can use the floor, tap the foot down, get your balance, get your balance. We're gonna switch sides now. So tap, let's not kill the puppy. Excuse me, <laughs> tap, <laughs> use a wall if you need to. Oh, ooh, and I still kicked the puppy, I'm sorry. Two, one, perfect, so. We're on our last move and we're gonna do that lunge curl again. So grab some nice light weights that are still challenging. We're gonna step back into our lunge. Three, two, one. Not kill any puppies. And then curl. Step forward. Don't kill the puppy. Curl. Okay, Annie wants to do weights, excuse me. Step, oh, <laughs> step back, curl. Halfway there, 20 seconds left. Curl. Curl. 10 seconds. Nice lunge. Pelvis forward, try not to come forward or back bend. Two, one, perfect. 
Okay, good to go. So that is round two. We got one more round. So again, remember, pick up those weights. We're <laughs> okay, weights, tip forward row, right, right into your extension, come up, chest, tip forward, row, extend, come up, try and be nice and controlled, like this, like this, like this, like this, so rather than swinging, you know, you want to be nice and controlled. Tip, row, extend, up, chin. Six seconds left, let's do one more. Puppy, please don't eat that. And perfect. Last round, yeah. Okay, our next one is gonna be that alternating bicep curl. So remember, I need like an elevator. And then out to the side. So whatever weight feels good for you, come on up, out to the side, <laughs> perfect, back, please do not eat my shoe puppy, forward, out to the side, back forward, notice how pelvis is forward, so we're not Sticking the butt out, pressing pelvis forward, nice and controlled. Eight seconds left. Should be feeling it. Feeling that burn in the biceps. Perfect. Put the weights down, bending the knees. You can shake out the arms. The next one's gonna be that squat hinge. So let's see if I can kind of demonstrate here. So Toes are pointing out. We're coming all the way forward. Toes point forward, hinge. You don't have to do it that way necessarily. I just find for my specific kind of body, bone, muscle structure, it feels good. Some people will keep the toes turned out as they hinge forward, but you don't wanna keep the toes slightly out for your squat. Use the core, engage the belly, engage the abs this whole time. Engage the glutes as you come up. Five seconds. Then you're good. <clears throat> okay, we are halfway. So our next one is gonna be that wall squat. Grab a wall. <laughs> This time maybe we should move the weights so we're not kicking them. Three, two, one, and you just hang out here. If you want to try it out, maybe going a little lower, maybe again you bring the feet together and you lift a knee up. Woo! Feel that quad burn. Annie, can you please not eat the diffuser? That's bad. Come here. Annie. Puppy. 10 more seconds. And we don't have to do any more wall squatting. There we go. Come here. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Next we have that toe tap. Okay. So remember, we're. Let's try not to kick Buddha forward. See if you can keep that leg up. Tap your opposite toe, right? Forward, we'll start with one foot. You can tap as many times as you want with your opposite foot. Ooh. Ooh. Tap down. Five more seconds until we switch. Okay, and switch. Excuse me. Okay. Let's not eat that, okay? Okay, go get a toy. Tap. <laughs> Tap. Tap up. Maybe you don't touch at all. Tap down. Okay. 
Moving on to our last move, grab some weights that are gonna be challenging, lunge curling. So you're coming back into your lunge, get nice and comfortable in that lunge, hammer curl. So I've been using, go. I've been using tens for every move except the squat, but you can feel free to challenge yourself or go a little bit lighter. Maybe a five is still challenging. So again, as we come into that lunge, let's not kill the puppy. And you want to press pelvis forward. So we're not sticking booty out. And puppy is eating my shoelace. Excuse me. But pelvis forward, hammer curl. Okay. We did it. We finally got through the workout. Oh, okay. Better late than never, right? Um, okay, so hope you have a great day. We're at 21 minutes. Thanks for working out with me. You're doing amazing. And uh, we'll talk to you later.